Tip and scales, just under 3,000 pounds. This is the 174 bunkhouse little J Flight SLX here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This one actually comes in at 2980. So if you're not sure if your vehicle can tow that, give us a call because we also specialize in towing vehicles. We are the uh, do it all kind of dealership. Sort of like scrubbing bubbles, but for RVs. We do the work so you don't have to. If you'd like to see if we have this in stock and available, please, you know, visit the link in the YouTube video description or, uh, you know, give our team a call. We have these living, breathing human beings on staff, ready, willing, and able to assist you in your RV search. So why has the J-Flight family of travel trailers been the number one selling, not just travel trailer, but RV, period, end of sentence, since 2005 and counting? That's what I want to hit on here. What is it about these little guys? This is the, the smallest, simplest member of their family, and yet it's uh, the number one selling travel trailer under 20 feet out there from the number one selling brand of travel trailers out there with the highest resale and longest uh, full coverage warranty in the business. It's, uh, other than that big warranty, it's a lot of little stuff. Like you saw the big storage compartment under the front bed here. Storage is worth its weight in gold, my friends. That is something that a lot of small RVs definitely suffer from. Um, a, well, a lack of storage. Now, I mentioned the warranty. I want to expand on this a little bit. Jayco has the longest um, uh, bumper to hitch warranty in the business. They have a full two year coverage warranty. That is not exceeded by anyone because there is no such thing as a full three year warranty in the business despite what the marketing guys and some brands want you to think. You need to do some research and be careful of that stuff. Abe Lincoln said if it's published on the internet it has to be true so keep that in mind. Uh, this is an easy towing little bugger. It's only seven and a half foot wide. So it is basically the same width as a general vehicle. That means that there's less headwind, especially since it's also a little shorter. And you can see down the sides of this with your, your side mirrors. Now, I still recommend you get either some kind of towing mirror, extension mirror, something. I don't recommend towing without safety mirrors. It's, it's, well, it's a safety concern. You can have somebody standing here that you can't see. And, and I mean, you know, if you try to change lanes, you could, you know, hit a car or anything like that. Little. Small class single axle campers like this don't usually always have full diamond plate. They don't always have a big front window with a weather shield. Now there's some front windows out there. They're rarely as large as the Jayco. The ones that you do see out there, uh, the, the windows on these little campers are often not tinted. These are fully UV tinted to keep the interior cooler, gives you more privacy. Also, with the exception of this front window, all windows in these little SLXs open for airflow. That's an awesome feature. There's three things about these windows that are above and beyond industry standard, and this is the most simple level basic trailer Jayco makes. Now, um, even little stuff like this. Marker lights, uh, tail lights, all lights, inside, outside, are LED on these little J flights. That's another exceptional quality. Even industry standard luxury fifth wheels uh, in, in the marketplace uh, currently do not have full LED exterior lights, maybe some brake lights. And there are some that do full LEDs, but the industry standard is not even at the, the level of the base level Jayco because it's a, it's a reliability and a safety feature. All these little things, guys, it's the reason that a Jayco, um, well, probably should be a dollar more, but with the volume that they sell and the volume that we sell, we're generally able to offer these at equal or lesser dollars than inferior equipped brands. That doesn't necessarily mean it's an inferior trailer. Every RV is the best at different things. So your job is to determine what are what things do you want in your RV and does the trailer you're looking at have them. For instance, galvanized steel blowout guard wheel wells and Goodyear endurance radials. This is the only thing in its class running on uh, American-made uh, Goodyear radial type tires. No one else has it. You know, these galvanized steel wheel wells, I'm not gonna say there's no one else that has it, but they are definitely, definitely uh, the exception to the rule. God forbid you hit some debris on the road, it's that, it's that safety net that helps keep this whole thing from getting shredded up. Now this has a full walk-on roof, and that is an area where some of these little things, uh, these small little mini campers, if you will, that is an area, uh, roof construction, that some of these things are grossly lacking. Um, some trailers in this class actually literally have just a tin skin on the roof with no decking and just a couple matchstick roof bows just to keep the decking in place. Literally wind buffeting or snow packing on top of it here in the Midwest will cause that roof to kind of crinkle. I call it a beer can roof because you can just, it just crushes. Um, it'll hold up well enough to get uh, the manufacturer out of their warranty obligations, 
but chances are a lot of people, the average person's financing this thing from like five to 10, maybe 12 years, depending on your budget. Um, you know, that stuff makes a difference, that, that long-term build value and ownership. Spare tires are not always standard in this. That's another reason I like the Jayco's here at Halet RV. They come with a spare tire and a slip cover. Um, even that slip cover is a few extra bucks not usually found in a little camper like this. And you, you're like, why is he talking about a spare tire? Seriously? Because they're not standard in a little size trailer like this, but they are with a Jayco. Now, I hope you never need that spare tire. I hope it never comes into play, but I also hope you never have to use cough syrup. But you know what? Sometimes we, you know, have to roll with what life gives us because sometimes life doesn't play according to the plan. That's why this is here. Now, little camper, we still have the same awning set up as these bigger Jayco's. We've got an easy tilt power awning, literal two finger tilt adjustment on that awning. Speaker awning arms. The speakers are built right in here so that when the awning is open, the sound is projected down because if you follow the path of that as the awning comes out, the speakers point toward your campsite, not toward this guy parked next to us. Even little stuff. Hi, Brent. Um, the uh, vents over here. These actually ventilate outside so that if you do cook inside, you are exhausting heat. So, I mean, even little stuff like this are still addressing on these little Jayco's. Let's step inside for you. Now, um, I talked about the longer warranty. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything key outside. I've been out of the office for a few days, and it is, it is incredible how quickly you get out of, like, your, your routine and regimen and whatnot. So I'm trying to really, I'm having to really actively think about this a lot harder than normal, and I don't want to miss anything. Uh, this model has been in production, and is I'm pretty sure virtually everybody who builds a little what I call mini camper build something like this because it's just a rock star of a floor plan mom and dad have a bed up front they can enjoy um the bed is actually i mean this is the difference in construction i'm talking about if you lift stuff up you see plywood not osb not particle board if you look at your cabinet construction it's screwed together it's pocket screwed and tattooed it's not stapled staple cabinetry is okay it's gonna it's okay as long as you take care of your camper it'll be fine but the point of this with the heavy duty construction like your pocket screw cabinetry is to last longer with reduced you know requirements for maintenance this whole thing is just built a little more solid uh doesn't mean there aren't other okay campers out there it just means that there's good and there's better and that's one of the things we like about our little jayco's we carry other series of little campers this generally falls into the better category on the construction end like like i said the all led lights and just little stuff like this convenience items like the way that your main cabin's all on one switch. You know, even your little welcome backlight. Now, you can still operate these lights uh, independently. But little convenience items like this you don't normally get in small campers. Uh, their air conditioner. Some brands have a, uh, a big roof mount AC. And it is a little more powerful. Don't get me wrong, that's cool. But it also means that the whole trailer's taller. They built these specifically to try to slip into a lot of garages. That's a nice little thing about these little single axle J-Flight SLXs. That's another thing I like about them here at Halitz. You can get them in and out of places. Perfect if you're like um, National Park camping. This is the ideal National Park travel trailer. Uh, this is also an 8,000 BTU side mount air, not the 5,000 BTU standard. But that's the kind of difference that you can't see without reviewing a video like this you'd have no idea that this is like a 60 percent more powerful air conditioner than what you usually find in this little box people in southern climates buy this little type of camper with that side mount air and they do just fine because that is a bigger air conditioner and this is a small box so you're going to cool it down quickly and this is a legitimate overhead cabinet here too um other brands i've noticed brands that we no longer carry for instance they they don't have this overhead storage and storage is worth its weight in gold and every ounce counts my friends um I also like the, the completely carpetless, easy cleaning nature of these little single axles because they have no slide. There's just absolutely no need for carpet anywhere. And this little corner right here, I look at that, I'm like, that's just, that's begging for like, uh, just to throw some shoes right there. But you notice they put a little power out light right there. The other thing I look at that is if you have like a CPAP breathing machine, you know, if you have to look like a scuba diver at night to sleep properly, um, well, you can put a, a little stand right there and put your breathing machine right there and have a power outlet right next to the bed and not have to dangle hoses and cables and everything all over the place um countertop cabinet space it's a little camper so it can't have the most 
But you know what? They did the best they could and I think they did a pretty good job. You've got a large overhead cabinet there and it actually does go into, like you see this false panel right here, there is storage around that corner. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Nice little prep counter area right there. Just big enough for a griddle. So if it's pancakes and bacon time, <laughs> bacon, this is the perfect place to do it. This is also where you can uh, hook up your TV uh, if you choose to add one. Now, since this is, in residential terms, what we call stick-built, this is a wood skeleton trailer, um, you can uh, easily throw a wall mount and a swing arm up there if you want to, which is perfect for easy viewing. Now, this is a gas and electric fridge, so if you're off the beaten path, uh, you can use your propane uh, to, you know, keep your all your food cool, and it does have a small freezer pocket. Now, um, let me get up and show you this right here, because they really did a good job of not wasting storage. They made this as open and expansive as possible, and one of the more recent updates is they made this a tall, open vertical space for a wastebasket. Again, the little Jayco details are what separate these from the other brands that we carry here at Haywood RV. They've done a great job with little things like that. Now, remember, your hood does ventilate outside. They also give you a roof vent to ventilate extra heat up, and this doubles basically as a skylight to let more light in here. Now again, because Jayco's such a big high-end manufacturer, you're getting the benefit of the bigger units here in a smaller one, like the uh, the um, long-distance antenna system here, this Weingard, um, like, uh, what is it, King Jack or whatever, or not King Jack antenna, but... Um, Oh, it looks like a manta ray on top. See, I told you, I was out of the office for two days. I can't remember the name of nothing anymore. Point is, you don't have to crank this up and down. This antenna only needs to be turned directionally to get you channels, and it is high def capable if you choose to add a TV here. It's very simple and easy and inexpensive for them to do this from the factory level. It's very hard and expensive to do this after market. So they go ahead and do it at the factory level, even though a lot of people don't put TVs in here. It really isn't, like, costing anything. Um, now, floor to ceiling, like, ugh. Wow, these lenses are brand new. You're really going to struggle with them. Or either that or I'm just a weakling, which is also very possible. Um, <laughs> chicken arms. Uh, big, big storage space right here. Now, um, there's no such thing as too much storage in any camper, but you can imagine all the different things you can do with this. And I think one of the reasons that these caught on to be so popular is when these little single axle Jayco's first came out, what really separated them as an extremely nice in-class feature is that they have um, a full what's called dry bathroom, not a wet bath. A wet bath is when the toilet is in the shower pan. It's a closet that you kind of do the three S's in, sit, shower, and shave. I got to be real careful how I phrase that, you know, being a public figure, whatnot. Anyway, they said, let's let's figure this out. Let's make this a, a, a normal bathroom with plenty of leg room here, even for big people. Um, you know, skylight, a power vent, everything that a normal bathroom has, but put it in a little camper. Then we're even going to ventilate the door so you can have extra airflow at night. And that is really what helped these guys break the industry mold, because at the time that these came out, everything was a wet bath, and Jayco just kind of redefined it, you know? Um, little two-person couples, Dinette. If you've got a couple little kids, maybe you can squeeze four in there, but it is a reduced size Dinette so that you do have a nice, comfortable walk space. What I do like about it, though, is no pedestal legs down here for me to bash my big, long, gangly legs on. That is just, that's something that as a person who has, being taller, my knees hit everything. Like, when I'm at a restaurant, I hit everything all the time. I appreciate little stuff like that. Thank you, Jayco. Now, um, again, all windows open for ventilation, and we do have nicer, like, fifth wheel pleated shades in here. So, um, oh, by the way, decors. There's going to be different fabric sets through the model gear. Um, you don't really order them from Jayco. You just kind of get them based on what they're running at the time. Um, that's one of the cost-saving measures of the SLX family. This is a camper, not an RV. It gets It's all thrill or no filler, and it gets the job done well. Little stereo over there with... Uh, last I knew these had a Bluetooth link. Let me make sure they didn't take that out. Bluetooth. There you go. Little USB uplinks. Every now and then, they'll slip something in like that, and I'll get myself in trouble. And again, they didn't waste any space. They could have left that open, and it would have looked okay, but they made it storage. They made it useful and functional. I like everything they're doing in here. It's probably why... These are such top sellers. You know, it's a great selling model from the number one selling series of RVs out there. And we are the largest independent standalone dealership in the state of Michigan. 
Probably because we have a knack for picking out superior products like this one, and we only do everything. Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, everything at our dealership. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.